Okay, so in previous lessons, uh, we looked at how uh, moving a magnet inside a coil will induce a current within that coil. And to demonstrate that, if I drop this uh, coil and keep moving it, so if I drop the magnet and keep moving it through the coil, then hopefully you'll see that there is a little bit of a flicker on the microammeter that I've connected up to this. So just there, is there a flicker? The quicker that I move it through, the more pronounced that flick of the coil will be. So relative motion between a coil of wire and a magnet will induce a current within the now this very principle is used in transformers to change the voltage um, in the national grid. We take a primary coil with an alternating current. This changing current will produce a changing magnetic field within the iron core. Now if we've got a changing magnetic field within the iron core, then that produces another changing current in the secondary coil. Now we need this to be alternating current. If it was just direct current, there wouldn't be a changing magnetic field, so we couldn't produce that secondary voltage. We couldn't produce any current going through the secondary coil, so it needs to be alternating current. And I can demonstrate that here with the practical setup that I've got inside these two blue boxes. It's just coils of wire, 240 turns in each of them. There is a setting, I can divide the 240 coils into two lots of 120, so I can make one of them 120 turns and one of them 240 turns. Now remember that the primary coil is the one that's closest to the power source. So, two coils, and what I have here is an iron core, basically in two halves. Okay, so with these two coils, and an iron core, I can make myself a transformer. So I place one through there, the other one half of the coil through. I can use this clip, snap it together. Don't mind your fingers here. There we go. I've made two coils connected by this iron core around the outside. Now, if I connect 120 turns to the primary coil, can you hear that noise? That's the sort of noise you'd hear when you are walking past one of these transformers in the street. You know, the fenced off boxes like the ones outside the uh, bus waiting area at my school. Now, if I connect two more cables to the secondary coil at 240 volts. We can see the effect this will have. So what's our starting voltage alternating current? It's about eight volts. I adjust it here to eight volts. Turn on my uh, multimeter. the AC supply and by doubling the number of coils you may well be able to see that I've effectively doubled the voltage. If I had 8 volts in the primary coil and across the secondary coil therefore if I've doubled the number of turns I've basically doubled the amount of wire that's in the magnetic field and as a result the potential difference likewise doubles. Let's go the other way around then shall we? Now I've made a slight modification to the setup. I've put the primary coil as 240 turns and I've put the secondary coil as 120 turns. So that is halving the number of coils rather than doubling it. If I leave it on eight volts, turn on the transformer. And you might be able to see that that's now half the voltage. So instead of having uh, eight volts into 16 volts, doubling the voltage, I've halved the voltage. I've gone down to about four volts. So in the first example, because I increased the voltage, that was an example of a step up transformer. In the second example, the one that I've got just here, I decreased the voltage. So that's what we call a step down transformer. So to recap, we've got an alternating current in the primary coil. That's producing or inducing a magnetic field in the iron core. 
and that changing magnetic field in the iron core is inducing a current in the secondary core. And it all depends on the ratio of the turns, how many turns did you have in the primary core compared to how many you had in the secondary core as to whether that's a step up or a step down transformer and the voltage that you will see out. Hope that makes sense. See you soon. look closely there's a setting so I can dive that divide the 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 if you look closely there's a setting I can divide the 100